Hi guys, it's me again, the Frugal Chef. I'm going to be making mole sauce today. This is a request from our friend, Señor Pipa de la Paz, which means Mr. Peace Pipe. <laughs> He's been asking me and waiting patiently for this recipe. I hope you like my rendition of it. You're going to need all kinds of ingredients for this, but boy, is it worth it. Let's make it. So first thing to do for our mole is to get our chilies ready. I am going to dry roast six chile guajillos and six chile anchos in this pot. I took out the seeds and I stemmed them. And what we want to do is just blister them. I'm also going to add six chile arbol and that's just because I want it to be super spicy. You don't have to if you don't want. That's a spicy little chili by the way. So we're just going to let these toast on here and get a little blistered. You might want to open a window these, this, if you can, if you have one, or, or start your vent. Okay, now that these are, see, blistering here, turning darker, uh, I'm going to transfer them to a bowl. I'm going to add half a cup of raisins to this. So we're just going to let those puff up in the pan, you know, for, I don't know, three minutes. And we're going to place them in the bowl with the chilies. So I've got the chilies and the raisins in there. I'm just going to cover this with boiling water. And I'm going to weigh it down with a plate. Oops. And let that be for about 30 minutes. Next thing we're going to do while our chilies are soaking is dry roast some uh, garlic and we're gonna uh, and some white onion. I'm gonna put about eight garlic cloves in here. Notice that I didn't peel them. I want them to get nice and kind of charred on the outside and then we'll peel them. Same with the onion. Okay we're going to see how nice that onion is. It's the same on all sides. I'm going to take it out of the skillet. You know, our garlic could use a little more time on here. So I'm just going to leave it there. And we're going to dry roast some tomatoes. I have three large red tomatoes here. And about nine really little green ones. You know, tomatillos. They don't grow much more than this here. But, you know, you can get them about that big in, in the United States. So, you know, probably use three or four. Now same thing, we're just going to let these dry roast in the pan and we want them to char. I'm going to be checking this garlic, if it's ready I'm going to take it out and put it with the onion. And you know what, once it cools down I'm going to peel the garlic. Alright, these are ready, now I'm going to set these aside. I have a tablespoon of sesame seeds, about a half an inch about an inch piece of cinnamon stick there, an eighth of a teaspoon of anise seeds, and an eighth of a teaspoon of coriander seeds. We're just going to toast this really quickly um, so that we can grind them. You know, all we want is to be able to smell that cinnamon. I have a tablespoon of vegetable shortening in here that I melted. You know, you can use lard if you would prefer. I'm going to put in about half a cup of almonds. These are raw. Almonds, another half cup of walnuts, uh, and a quarter cup of uh, raw peanuts. We're just going to toast these until they're nice and brown. Okay, I'm now going to set these aside. The last thing we're going to do is fry a tortilla in that shortening. We want it to get nice and, I mean, like almost burnt. Just like that and it's very 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 nice and brown. I placed all our spices into this little mortar uh, plus four uh, uh, cloves, four whole cloves. I'm going to just go ahead and grind this until I have a fine powder. If you don't have one of these uh, you're gonna have to do this in your um, in a coffee grinder or if you definitely don't have any of that then you're gonna have to use ground cinnamon ground uh, 
cloves and ground anise and ground <laughs> coriander just like this guys so now guys we need to start blending all our ingredients I'm gonna start with the chilies they're nice and hydrated of course the raisins are in there I'm gonna put this in the in the uh, blender with about a quarter cup of of the soaking liquid I'm gonna start straining everything we blend this is the chilies I added about half a cup of the soaking liquid to this. Remember the raisins are in here too. We're going to be using uh, homemade chicken stock with this sauce. So I'm just going to wash this out with a little bit of that stock. Alright, now I'm just going to push this through the colander here. I'm going to scrape the bottom of this. I don't want to lose any of my sauce. And I'm going to wash it off. I am also uh, rinsing off the blender. I am going to blend everything else that we have prepared, including the tortilla. I'm, on, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of dried thyme and a teaspoon of oregano. And I'll see you back here at the strainer. Alright, now I'm going to pour uh, the rest of our blended ingredients in here. I used a little bit of chicken stock to help me blend this easier. I'm, I'm just going to do the same thing and press this through this uh, colander into our sauce. Okay, we're going to mix this. I'm going to transfer this to the skillet where we were, um, where we toasted everything. I left the the shortening in it that we used for the for the nuts. One word of advice, though, it's going to splatter. So I have a splatter screen, so uh, you might want to use a deeper pot. We're going to let this sauce come to a simmer and we're going to simmer it for oh maybe 15-20 minutes and then we'll finish it. Um, again, make sure you are careful with the splattering. Don't get burned, okay? So this simmered for 20 minutes. We're going to add chocolate to it now. I'm going to add 2 ounces of Mexican drinking chocolate. You know, it's it's a little bit, uh, you know, like semi-sweet, but it has sugar and, and uh, uh, cinnamon in it. <laughs> so I'm just going to add this in here. It's about two-thirds of the tablet that comes in that. We're just going to let this melt. I'm going to simmer that for about 15 more minutes with the chocolate and our sauce will be done. Okay guys, you know what? I went ahead and added the rest of that of that um, tablet in here. Uh, so it's about five and a half ounces of, uh, of chocolate. Also, I used two cups of chicken stock total uh, while I was blending this sauce, um, if you don't, if you can't find that Mexican chocolate, go ahead and use bittersweet. But you have to adjust this sauce with some sugar. If you've never tasted it, it's kind of difficult for me to to explain to you what it needs to taste like. But uh, you saw we put all kinds of ingredients in here, so it's a very bold sauce. We're gonna use this in another video to make uh, chicken mole with. Now I can, I'm going to cool this down, I'm going to save half, uh, you know, freeze half and use the other half for my chicken. This sauce will last in my freezer for a good six months, so perfect. It was a lot of work, but I'll have it for another meal. So my friends, there you have it, mole sauce. I hope Eduardo at Señor Pipa de la Paz is happy now. <laughs> uh, I, of course, this recipe will be on the website waiting for you to come and print it. You know, make sure you check out all the Mexican recipes we have. We have a lot. You know, if, if this is not like, you know, if this is not the way you make this or your mother or your grandmother make this, please don't get upset at me and especially refrain from uh, writing me nasty grams. <laughs> Eat well, my friends, without going broke. I'm going to see you soon. <laughs>